subscribe to m code and ring the notification bell to get the latest content this lecture is all about setting up hadoop cluster on your windows machine so without further ado let's get into it you have to install hadoop using the hortonworks sandbox which is provided by cloudera because hortonworks has acquired by cloudera a few years back so cloudera is supporting sdb sandbox on their official website but sometimes that can go under the pay well so i'll be giving some work around for you to download that hdp sandbox and also set up hadoop on your local machine but let me tell you that it is a pretty graphic intensive and processing intensive application so you have to make sure that you will be having like 8 gb of ram on your pc and you should definitely dedicate 4 gigs of ram specifically for that hortonworks sandbox and it's a pretty big file i think it's around 40 gigs of storage so you will be requiring like minimum 60 gigs of storage on your laptop or machine so to able to kick off hadoop because it comes with all the services you will have access to apache kafka apache hadoop hive everything in one package you will also be able to install flink as well as cassandra and so many other databases like hbase which is native database to hadoop so that will be really easy setup but you should be having a bandwidth because that file is pretty huge so we will start installing hdp sandbox now okay so once we have pyspark set up manually on your windows pc then after that we will install hadoop on your local pc so here we are using hortonworks data platform which is hdp sandbox and for that there is only one prerequisite you have to download oracle vmware virtual box to able to get that package and get deployed on that virtual box and we can go ahead and kick off our hadoop sandbox on a different cluster so that cluster will be hosted on the virtual box itself and it will use minimum 4 gigs of ram of your pc so without further any ado let's jump on to your favorite browser and just search for download hdp sandbox okay so once we head back and search for download hdp sandbox you will get the home page but there is also one link which is hackmd.io so here i found that the file of sandbox is already present and they have really well structured instructions as well for installing hdp sandbox because most of the time i have heard that cloudera has shifted the hdp sandbox package behind the paywall so to simplify this i'll just give this link in the description below so that you can go ahead and download that file without any issue so just click on this and in the home page you will see all the process but we just need oracle virtual box as well as the hdp sandbox file that's it so if we go below here we will find the hardware requirement so as i already told you you should be having at least like minimum 4 gigs and recommended is the 8 gigs of ram because it is pretty memory intensive software so if you go below as you can see we have the oracle vm virtual box so just click on that it will head back to the virtualbox.org website and you just have to download it so just download virtual box it's a pretty friendly button here just download it and and it's for the windows host so just click on that and the file will get downloaded it's a pretty small file just 106 mb so once it is downloaded just head back and it's a pretty simple installation it's like you have to just give the admin privileges and it will automatically installed in a specific directory so you just have to press next and also you have to press next and then yes that's it and install this is very simple process so once we have that we can go ahead and download our oracle virtual vm box and after that we will go ahead and extract our hadoop sandbox package and host it on this virtual box and there you have it you got the installation so just click on finish it will automatically kick off the virtual box for you okay so as you can see this is the home window for oracle vm virtual box and here we just have to add our hortonworks sandbox so before that we have to get that package from that website so just head back to the website once again and if we go like below you will find this installing hdp sandbox tab and in have and in it we have the downloading link so we, for vmware virtual box we have to download from here so just click on that and it's a pretty big file 
I think it's around 15 GB but when you extract that file that package would go around 40 gigs depending upon the services that you are running because it will get all the cache data as well as all the logs which are generated and stored it in that virtual box itself so it will consume a lot of memory when you start using it and start using various services across the cluster okay so once you download this file you just have to click on this double click on this and it will automatically get imported into the virtual box and here you can see where you want to store this so you have to store give like machine base folder so this will be like the base folder for your virtual box so i'll just select it as a other drive and i'll save it where i have some space so i'll just give it as like in the other folder so i'll just select that and also other and also in other i'll just create a virtual box folder or maybe a hadoop cluster folder so i'll just say hadoop cluster and that's it i'll just select this folder and all the files and all the data files will be present here and here you have to import hard drives as vdi so you just have to click on finish so once it is finished it will get import the appliances so it will take a lot of time to kick off your hadoop sandbox because there are so many services that will run behind and also the initial start will be way more time consuming so it may take around one hour depending upon the performance of your machine and the virtual box so i'll highly recommend you to be patient and after one hour it will get all set up and after that first boot it will only take 15 to 20 minutes to kick off all the services across cluster which includes the hdfs the name node data nodes and all the other nodes present on our hadoop cluster so once this is imported you will see this hortonworks sandbox hdp so it will totally depend on the version that you are installing so you just have to go ahead so as you can see the status will be powered off so you just have to press the start so after starting it will kick off your hortonworks sandbox okay so as you can see it is kicking off our machine here so in the background it is activating the hdfs the yarn which is the resource manager as well as name node data nodes so in our case we only have a single machine in our hadoop cluster so that will be the name node as well as the data node of our cluster okay so as you can see this is all doing all the background checks and it is ensuring that all the services are at the right place and all the files are in place okay so as you can see our machine has been successfully started so the welcome screen will be present on the local host 1080 as well as the ssh will be present on the local host 4200 but to log in into your hadoop cluster you just have to go ahead and hit the local host 8080 so what are you waiting for just get your favorite browser and type like localhost 8080 which is the page for ambari okay so this is giving us the bad gateway because it is not yet started so let's give it like 5 to 10 minutes and after that we will be able to log in into ambari so ambari is nothing but the ui for our hadoop cluster where you can monitor your resources how many resources are getting consumed what are the active services and what are healthy what are not healthy what are having some issues all the stubs you can do through ambari okay so once we refresh the page we will get the sign in page for ambari so what happened is ambari is also a service which is deployed on that sandbox so that's why it took maybe 5 to 10 minutes depending upon the performance and the ram to kick off the sandbox so the password and the username will be same so for every first login you have to remember the users as well as the password so we have two generic username and passwords which are already created by cloudera for us so that is maria underscore dev the password will be the same maria underscore dev and raj underscore ops ops and also the password will be same so i'll go ahead and use the maria underscore dev and the password which is maria underscore dev so just sign in into that and you will be able to see what are all the services are kicked off what are all pending so as you can see this is the home page of our ambari so as you can see we got the hdfs which is the storage layer of hadoop we got the yarn which is a resource negotiator the map reduce 
and we have all other services there are a lot of services present on this cluster and you can practice them so that you will get a whole understanding of the hadoop cluster and it's all native and the third party services which it provides so we got different services like tez we have the hive which is the sql layer on top of the hadoop and all these services so as you can see the first step would be you have to monitor if your services are running fine or not so as you can see start all services so this will begin for every execution so it is like 17 percent completed so it will take maybe 15 to 20 minutes to start all these services and you will see the green tick for all this so as you can see mongodb is already started so mongodb is another very trendy tool to handle documents and it's a and it's a document based database and also no sql database so you will get exposure to all these services if you use hdp sandbox that's why i highly recommend you to go ahead and download hdp sandbox because under the hood it has the real cluster and you will really enjoy working with it and also integrate all these services on top of this single machine so i hope you followed along and set up spark and hadoop on your local pc so if you are facing any difficulties you can post that in the comments and we can solve it together so that's it for today we have covered all the basics required for data engineering and also we have covered the fundamental knowledge of hadoop and spark which are the two pillars of data engineering and also we have set up locally the hadoop as well as apache spark with python so in the next lecture let's start with the hadoop and start our hands on and and get our hands dirty and see how it works and also we'll learn some use cases and also we will have some hands-on exercise on a real world use case so i hope you like this lecture so i'll see you in the next one so that's it for today i'll see you in the next lecture